Okay. We're going to try and cover some of these verses. Right? I'm going to call it Bible Works. Let's see, where is it? Oh, where did it go? Ah, there it is. Bible Works. I'm going to look at some Believe verses. Okay? Now, again, you want to look at this pan Bible. But at least the New Testament in the Gospels to see how believe is used. So now I'm going to B E L I E V E. I'm searching on all the believe verses in Bible Works, which is a collection of Bibles. I'm not going to read them all, just some of them. Let's start with Matthew 9:28. Context, context, context is always important. Okay, who is he talking to? What is he talking about? Okay, and what's the scope? Okay, you gotta ask those questions in anything you read, so you ask them of the Bible, especially. Okay, Matthew 9 28. Context is some blind men who wanted to be healed. And he says, Matthew 9 28, when he entered the house, their house. So he's talking to them. The blind man came up to him and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. That means they believed in him as Lord. Okay? So they were already believers. And then what does he say in 29? And he touched their eyes, saying, It shall be done to you according to your faith. Now, he healed them because they believed. Get that? That's the parallel to salvation. He didn't say they had to walk an aisle. He didn't say they had to be baptized. He didn't say that they had to admit they believed aloud. He wanted to know if they believed, yes or no. They didn't have to repent of their sins in order to be healed. Just like you don't have to repent of your sins to be saved. Got it? Ugh. So easy to know. Okay, here's another doozy. Matthew 21, 32. For John the Baptist came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him. But, <coughs> sorry, the tax collectors and prostitutes did believe him. Does it say anywhere that they had to repent of being tax collectors? No. <coughs> Does it say anywhere that they had to repent of being prostitutes? No, they did believe him. And you seeing this, did not even feel remorse afterwards so as to believe him? And the word for remorse isn't really remorse, okay? It's to change their mind. It's, it, well, metamelami is the, the Greek verb. And it talks about a feeling that goes with it. In other words, they shamed him. The co tax collectors and prostitutes believed John. But the Pharisees didn't. Matthew 21, 32. Look it up. Okay, let's go looking for some more verses. Ah. <coughs> Matthew 27, 42. He's on the cross. He's, and this is the taunt that the crowd is giving to him. He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. So they knew it was believe only. Yeah, and you don't see them repenting of their sins either. Of course, he's not going to come down from the cross. Okay, here's where your repent verse is all center. Mark 1.15, go look it up. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe. So when you see the word repent in a gospel verse, it means repent and believe. Repent is shorthand for repent and believe. 
you'll notice that sins are not mentioned as the object of repent. It's believe that's the object of repent. Repent and believe in the gospel. Okay? Mark 1.15, look it up. Okay, Mark 5.36. But Jesus, overhearing what was being spoken, said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid any longer. Only believe. Yes. So obvious. Okay, let's see. Ah, Matthew eleven twenty four. We saw earlier in uh, Matthew nine. Um, this is Mark eleven twenty four. We saw earlier in Matthew nine about how the the blind people got healed by believing. Okay. Well, here's an example with prayer. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you. All things which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them, and they will be granted to you. Believe. Okay? Not invite Christ into your heart. Of course, that's not salvation. This is prayer. But see, believe is always the operative verb, either before or after salvation. All right? Um, let's see. What's another really good one? Mark 15.32 is a parallel passage on the crucifixion. Um, for the, um, Luke one twenty. that's not a salvation passage, but it shows you that believing is the operative verb. Zacharias was already saved, but he didn't believe the angel telling him that he was going to have a son. And so because he did not believe, He's punished by, you know, being mute until John is born. 